We're in Moab today. So we're going to the bottom of uh, Mineral Bottom Springs. Mineral Wells. Mineral, Mineral Bottoms. Mineral Wells Bottoms. We'll figure it out. But yeah, that's what we're doing. Yeah. Hi. She's, she gets to sleep while we do all the hard work. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> we're over the hill. We had to come down with the Honda and do some trail riding with the adventure riders. I fit right in. Yeah. But with the way some of them drive, you probably I'd probably would. outright. <laughs> yeah. You know where we're going? Yeah. Out of town. Go up the hill and then you'll watch and there'll be a sign to say You're screwed. Uh, no. I can't remember. Oh, okay. We're definitely getting lost then. We could be. Yeah, they can say you know. They all talk shit about their big blocks. They're all, their big blocks are always broken down. Yeah. These little, these five sevens, they just keep running. You got the money, they'll last forever. But people get tired of putting money in them. They go buy a brand new one. And it's well, this is it though. If you want a brand new vehicle, this all you have to do, ninety thousand. All you have to do is just change the transmission and change the engine. You've got a brand new vehicle. Smell the same car smell. I can, I can just it. fart for you. Excuse me, sir. Did you lose a fart? Yeah, it's running around here somewhere. I think it's up back there chasing Tia. Oh, Tia's? <laughs> Sylvia. Sylvia. <laughs> Actually, Sylvia, I think you'll be fine with this as long as you look towards. Yeah, I know. I just, I've had a headache and I'm trying oh. to get rid of it. Drink water. If you need water, there's a water bottle inside the uh, cooler. I got mine too if you want, so we take care of it, so. I think it's over around that bend there. There's two or three cars they've pushed off the edge. Oh, yeah? Yeah. They're old, old ones. They're beat to hell. Unless they pulled them out and clean it up. Well, I know they. Yeah, this has been great. For yeah, I, I know they did a lot of uh, cleaning up. Uh, Matt's uh, off-road recovery and the diesel brothers have pulled a lot of cars. Out. Yeah, they pulled a lot of a lot of stuff. Yeah, this is nothing like Jacob City's more treacherous than this. Have you opened your fridge? Just pull it open. Okay. There should be a water bottle in there. If there isn't, you don't mind. Where it washes out all the time, they cement it. Yeah. So. Now, is there a through point where we can just uh, go from here into Moab? Nope. No, you gotta go back. You can go out. If you go down river, uh -huh. that's the White Rim Trail comes out at Schaefer, you know, where that junction was and the bathroom was there. Yeah. That comes out there. Oh, okay. That's uh, the White Rim Trail. It starts down here and back there. And you go up the river. This seems a lot uh, lighter than it, it than it was the last time we were on it. We, oh, yeah, it is definitely. Oh. Dab and I and Tia came on this a while back. It seems a lot wider. Yeah. They've widened this or something. Not really. They just graded it. Either that or you're just in a bigger vehicle. No, we were in you're, this vehicle. This same one. This one. Oh. You're just. Yeah. I don't know. I'm
probably waiting for me to find a turn out really. Picture turner. Take it.
new Bronco and an off-road trailer. You know, I like the new Broncos, but I uh, I read into them, and they're not that good. They, they, they would hold. They'll, they'll only hold up for probably about five years. There's over a hundred thousand dollars right there too. Yeah, trying to do it. My fingers hurt, self. There, right? Back this That's on the other side of the river. Oh, okay. Yeah, we're back up this way. For Schaefer? Huh? Schaefer's trail? Yeah, Schaefer's this? trail's back that way, too. Oh, okay. This is the middle bottom trail. I know that. But we were seeing this. Oh. I thought we were seeing this. No. Nope. Not on Schaefer. Right here's where the canoes come out. See the boat ramp right there, that sandy spot? Yeah. I've seen water clear up the, when the river's full. You know, there'll be six, eight feet more water left, higher water left. I have got to make some dust control. Uh oh, really bad. It just hit me all this. Don't be kidding, it just hits you every once in a while. <laughs> you know? All right, I'll stop. Well, there's nothing further, right? Well, well you, you can go, but the road ends. There's nothing. Up there, there's okay. there's an old ranch. Yeah, that they've, yeah, I've seen the water clear up almost the top of this ranch. Wow! You come down here in the spring. You guys probably hear us talking about Schaefer Trail a lot in this video, and that is because a previously unreleased video, which is still in the works because it was a long trail, we just did that about a month ago, and that trail. This is, is, is a walk in the park, blindfolded in the walk of the park compared to the Shaver Trail. So I will definitely be working on getting that out to you as soon as possible. Here we are at the of Mineral Wells. What the heck is this place? Mineral Wells Boat Ramp. Mineral Wells Boat, boat Ramp. So over here is the Green River. As you can imagine, the river is green. But looks like a really nice, nice spot. And from my understanding, there is no fee. See, here's the confluence of the Colorado and the Green. When you come down here, and here's where we were at. Uh-huh. And the White Rim Trail comes along here and joins in back here. Oh. Or you can put in the Ruby Ranch, and it's 50-some miles here. Or you can put in the Green River, and it's 75. It's about 100 and some clear to here. Oh. And then Texas River runners he will pick you up here jet boat you back to his place at moab take you and he's got room you know he's got racks on his jet boat for the canoes and stuff oh that's cool <clears throat> it's not cheap but hey. the mineral bottom is one of the main access points to the green river and canyon lands mm -hmm. from here the river winds 54 miles before intersecting with the colorado river at the confluence the Green River is popular for canoeing, kayaking, especially in the, sp in the spring and fall. So, cool little spot here. Nice little day spot. I don't. <laughs> uh, these two, I swear. What, you heard that? Are you napping? I'm not napping. 
Yeah, you hit a full bourbon and take this out on its own to set the cruise control. <laughs> Go down the Green River. I'm sure I've probably filled up enough holes here. We probably float for a little bit. Don't that look like it'd be a fun canoe trip? Oh, it does actually. Like, nobody wants to go on it. I, 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 I just don't think they want to go with you. Okay. <laughs> no. Would you I, go I, with him? Yeah. What the hell? Why not? I can swim. I can. I, I'm actually a really good swimmer. I can. He can't. I can, but I got a really good life jacket too. I can swim, but don't count on me to save your ass. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, let's head some back. people don't like my sense of humor. If you can go on a river trip with me, you better make sure you got a well developed sense of humor. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> It don't get that cold, cold down here, but it's not that warm. Right. I mean, if you used to capsize your canoe here in about six weeks, you, you have a good chance of Hypothermia. dying of it. Have you ever been canoeing? Yeah, I used to. But I just haven't done it for years. What was it that you was on a Grantsville in? The canoe. And he rolled it three times. He kept tipping over. God, the wind came up where the waves at. Yeah. <laughs> and he had his cell phone with him. Had my cell phone. Third time my cell phone started ringing and wouldn't quit. <laughs> and finally, I had a life jacket. I put, you know, I didn't have it on. Oh, of course. Of course. So I, I'm hanging on the canoe. I put the life jacket on after the third time. You know, I get it empty, pick it up, flip it over, get in it. And a wind gust comes and hits me and flips me again. And I, I did that twice, you know, I rolled three times on me. And the third time I just rolled over, I put the life jacket on, rolled over on my back, I put the rope around my shoulder or something, you know, the canoe. And I start backpedaling. <laughs> just sure. This guy had a bow to flap on. He comes up, are you okay? I was, yeah, that son of a bitch won't stay upright. Oh, he says, says hang on to it give me your rope and he had a little electric motor he towed me <laughs> where I could knee deep water. Did you see him out there in the middle of the lake like that dog? I'm, I'm surprised he I'm surprised there's you. a lake left. <laughs> what? Oh. Son of a bitch I'm draining this motherfucking reservoir. <laughs> you guys think I got a lot worse temper than I did. Well <laughs> well we're very well controlled compared to 30 40 years ago. Huh, Sil? Aren't I nicer than I used to be? Hey, why? Don't get your hand off the throat. <laughs> get both hands on her so she gives the right answer. <laughs>
transmission fluid in this we don't work either. Yeah. I still don't feel right about that. It should have been the first thing I checked, but I was like, oh, it was good about a month ago. Never take anything for granted. Not when you run an old vintage. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 